In this video, we're going to look at morphing modulation. Now, I have a modulation envelope set up to modulate the wave shaper depth. And it's the same pattern that we saw in the last video. I'll look in the zoom here. Here's the pattern. Here are the notes. And you can see in here what it sounds like. I like that it's one of those three beat against four, four things so that it repeats on different beats. So that's one modulation routing that I have. I'm going to close this up for the moment. And I also have, I'm going to mute this one for the moment. And I have an LFO also set to modulate wave shape or depth. And it's with this type of pattern. Let's unmute it. Here we go. All right, so I like those. And I want to be able to move between those two different modulations. I want it sometimes to modulate based on this LFO and sometimes based on the envelope. We can set up a routing called a morphing modulation, which allows me to control the amount of each that I have using a third modulation source. So let me show you how to do this all. I'm going to go into the modulation matrix. And here we see the two routings that I have set up, mod envelope one to control wave shape or depth and LFO one to control wave shape or depth. Now I'm going to set up a new source here. And this is called morphing source. And I want the morphing source to modulate the wave shape or depth. So I'm going to go to oscillator and I'm going to choose wave shape or depth. So this virtual source now, morphing source, is going to modulate the wave shape or depth. Now I want this mod envelope to feed now for the target instead of wave shape or depth, it's going to feed morphing modulation input A. So the idea is that I can get different sources feeding into this morphing modulation and then work with them. Now the LFO, I want that to feed into morphing modulation input B. So that's feeding input A, that's feeding input B, and the sum of those over there is going to control the wave shape or depth. Now I'm going to set up another routing where I'm going to use the modulation wheel to move between those two values so that while the track is playing, I can use the mod wheel, and you can see the movement here on screen, to move between those two different morphing sources. So let's set up mod wheel over here. And the destination for that is going to be morphing crossfade. So let's put the amount all the way up, and let's unmute this. So I'm going to close this up, and now what we're going to hear is when I play the track, when the mod wheel is down, it's going to be modulating based on the LFO. And then I can gradually move the mod wheel up. And you can see the representation here. And it'll morph between that and at the top value where it'll be using only the envelope to modulate the parameter. So that's morphing modulation. And if we look here, we can see all the routings. The morphing source is modulating wave shape or depth. Mod envelope one is morphing input A, LFO input B, and the mod wheel is crossfading between the two. See you for more in the next video.